so we're on the snow again and uh, we're going to learn to snow plow this time round which sounds quite frightening but I can see little kiddies doing it so what's the worst that could go wrong right if you think you're putting any Elvis type of music on this because of how I look you're very wrong I'm watching you then you could actually V-shape, yeah. and then you kind of ski forward into a uh, parallel, yeah. and you push into a V-shape at the end. Yeah. They've had a bit of a warm-up today, so we've kind of gone over some of the stuff we've done last time, yeah. and now we're going to get to the nuts and bolts. So basically we need to create a snow plough. Snow plough is the, the technical word for a V-shape that continues down the slope, and yeah. using that snow plough, it's almost like a four-wheel drive vehicle, you can take that anywhere. You can go and ski a resort once you've practiced that, yeah. once you've got it down tuned. So let's have a little go now. So we step around the same way, yeah. and I'll talk you through it, and then we're going to have a go independently. Wow, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll come out here. The important thing here is to take your time, no, no rush. This is a snow plow, it's a V-shape. It's a symmetrical triangle, it's got a gap at the front. As I start to go forward, rather than stand up, let the skis go together, I'm just going to keep stretching and pushing my skis out. Push them out equally, so the left and right the same amount. If you have your hands and your knees, it helps. You need a bit of flow for it to work. So bounce a bit, get the whole thing moving, hands yeah. on knees. They keep pushing them out. Okay, let's have it. Hands on your knees. Keep pushing the brake out. It's pretty good, well done. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Yeah, it's not bad at all. Some reason I stop. Well, the snow cloud does make the gun slower. Which is perfect, really. A couple of bits of feedback. A couple of bits of feedback I'd give you. Your gap at the front of the skis to be a bit wider, so yours are almost touching, which means that if there's any little lump in the snow and they cross, you might have an issue. So let's keep them about that far apart. Right, right. So you, you were getting the hang of it last time, so yeah. that was pretty good. So we've got to find that a bit more, give us more control. Yeah. Once we've got that V-shape, and we've got it, we own it, if you like, autonomous, we can then start to make some stuff out of it. give you a first bit of a control. Yeah. Take, the, the key is taking the time here, don't rush it. Nice big shape. Okay, I've got the gap in front, hands and the knees. Get Although it's very good, you've got one heavy track, which is your left ski, yeah. and that indicates to me you're, you're tilting too much with the left ski. Yeah. So what we'd like to see is symmetrical tracks the same. Yeah. So it's not, it's not far off, but it's just a little bit heavy on the left side. And that was a balancing, I guess, because I um, thought I was going over, so I was trying to compensate with yeah. my body yeah. to, to keep the skis moving as well, which is... Uh, it's doing that, isn't it? It is, yeah. John, this is a travelator. Yeah. So it's got like a conveyor belt. It's a bit like when you go to Mark Suspensers, you stand on that thing, takes you up to the second floor. Yeah. Well, this is the skiing version of that. Right. We're not actually going to ride it to the top of the hill. We're only going to ride it a part way up. But basically, what we do is we walk forwards. Yeah. Skis parallel, roll onto the belt. Yeah. And stand still. Right. It will take you up. Yeah. I'll go up first. Yeah. So you can see where to get off. When you get off, you're going to step your right, sorry, your left ski out, and yeah. then your right ski is going to follow. So you're literally going to step off it in one, two, three steps. Uh, I'm actually going to help you for the first time because it takes okay. a bit getting used to. Yeah. So if you let me go up, yeah. give me time to take my skis off, yeah. and then up you go. Okay, okay. yeah, yeah. So I step onto the platform. Okay. Yeah, 
I'll help you. So I'm like this. On the left leg, three, two, one, step that out, and then just move forward. Well, isn't he? Expert. Oh. I might be a bit hot. <laughs> wow. Are you still going? Still going? Yeah. Wow. I knew I was hot. <laughs> Amazing. They say you lose most of your heat through your head. There you go. I'm feeling but cold Johnny's now. Johnny's clearly showing that. <laughs>